God's peace be with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Somebody has to pay. Have you ever heard that? It is usually used when there's been an accident, when something is broken, when something's going to have to be replaced. And I bet you've been on both sides of this statement. Maybe someone broke something of yours. It could be a, a big thing or a little thing. But when it's been broken, it has to be replaced. For example, maybe at your house, there's a set of glasses in the cabinet. There are eight of them in all. And when you eat with a family or guests, everyone has a matching glass. One morning, while unloading the dishwasher, one falls on the tile floor. Loud crash and shatters, just sprays glass everywhere. After the cleanup is finished, there's an empty spot in the cabinet. That is, unless someone replaces it. Unless someone pays for a new one, because then the next time guests come over, one of them's gonna have to drink out of a different glass. You won't have a matching set anymore. Now, I know that it may seem silly to use drinking glasses as an example, but it illustrates a really important point. Something is broken in this world, something big. We talked about it just a couple days ago, sin. Adam and Eve believed the lie that the serpent told them. They believed that God didn't love them, and this brought sin into the world. In order for things to be made right again, in order for our relationship with God to be restored, somebody had to pay for what had been done. The sin in our lives made this impossible for us to do. There was no way for us to be good enough to redeem ourselves to fix the brokenness of sin. We needed a Redeemer to repair the brokenness. We needed the Savior of the whole world. The Redeemer would have to be one that was perfect, one that had no sin to pay for of his own. And so God came down from heaven and became man. This real man named Jesus walked the earth the broken streets of the earth without sin. And he went all the way to the cross, dying in our place, having no sin of his own, and rising from dead on that first Easter morning. Jesus redeemed us from an eternity apart from him. Now, because of him, we can spend forever together. His life, death, and resurrection restored our relationship with God. It put that glass back in the cabinet. He did what we couldn't out of His love for us, out of His love for His creation. In John chapter 3, we read, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but will have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. He loves you that much. Now take some time with your family. Go through the devotion in the post and have a blessed day in the Lord. Amen.